Hey folks, welcome back to the You Want Pizzazz channel. We've got an exciting video for you today. You're gonna be learning how to create video grids in After Effects. Let's get started. So there are two parts of this tutorial. The first part, I'm going to be walking through how to create a video grid in After Effects step-by-step. -step. But if you don't have a lot of time to watch this tutorial, I created a template where you can just drag your assets in to the slots and it'll be a lot faster for you. If you wanna to skip to the template portion of the tutorial, go to this time code. But if you wanna learn how to do it yourself, stick with me till the end. So we're gonna start off by opening up a new composition in After Effects. We're gonna make it a 1920 by 1080 sequence. Make sure that the frame rate matches the videos that you're gonna be using today, and then also adjust the duration accordingly. I'm going to just make it 10 seconds for the purpose of this tutorial, but make sure to make it whatever length that you need it to be, and press OK. I'm just gonna rename this comp main sequence. So the first thing I'm gonna do is drag in my assets. I'm gonna make a new folder called assets. Then I'm going to find my assets and just drag that into my project file. I'm going to drag the first video onto the timeline and I'm going to just use this to create the tiles for the video grid. So I'm going to first just adjust the scale so that it is where I want it to be. I'm going to right click, go to pre-compose and then make sure the move all attributes into the new composition is ticked off. And I'm gonna name this composition S1 for sequence one and press okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and select the layer and hit S on my keyboard and then just shrink it down a bit. And then I'm gonna hit P and move it to the left. And then I'm going to select the layer and hit Command C and Command V to copy the layer. For PC users, that's Control C and Control V. And then I'm gonna move this second layer to the left. And I wanna zoom in and just make sure that this is lined up perfectly here. So I can use my arrows to kinda of get it exactly how I want it. So here is fine. I'm going to select the layer and hit Command C and Command V again. And I'm gonna move this to the right. Again, let's zoom in and make sure that we are right on the mark here with our arrows. So we got three video layers here. I'm going to select all of them by just dragging all the layers. I'm going to hit P on my keyboard and I'm going to just center it and then move it up. We're going to worry about the alignment later. For now, let's just create all the layers. Now with all the layers selected, we're gonna hit Command C and Command V again. And then we're gonna drag these three layers down. Again, let's zoom in and make sure that this is as tight as it can be. Zoom back out. We're gonna do it again. Select these three layers, hit Command C, Command V. And then we're gonna bring these down. Zoom in. Cool, and zoom back out. So we have nine sequences created to create a grid. Now let's make sure that it is aligned properly. And you can do that by right clicking in the sequence here, going to new and null object. Now this null object is gonna be used to control all the layers together. Because if you try to highlight and control all the layers itself, it doesn't work exactly the way I want it to work. I want all the layers to move together. So we can do that by highlighting all the layers and then linking it to the null object. So that now, if we're controlling just the null object by hitting S on the keyboard, you'll see that all the layers are linked together perfectly. So now we're going to use this null object to adjust it perfectly on the screen. So we're going to play around with the scale and the position to get it to where we want it to be. That looks great. So now we need to make all of these individual sequences because right now all of these are the same video file. We want them all to be different ones. So 
we need to duplicate the sequence up here. So select it in the project panel and hit Command C, Command V, and then just keep hitting Command V until we get nine sequences. And then we're going to replace each and every one of them so that it's numbered from one to nine. And you can do that by selecting the layer and then selecting S2 and then holding down Option on your keyboard and dragging and replacing. For PC users, that's holding down Alt and dragging and replacing. So go ahead and do that with the rest of the numbers here. So all of these sequence are their own individual video. We're going to delete the null object because we don't need that anymore. And then we're going to go ahead and open up the first one. And then you can delete this and change it with whatever you want. So I'm gonna just drag this in. I'm going to position it. And then obviously put in the exact time code that you want for each one. And then it'll change it on the main sequence grid. So go through each one and adjust the video. So this is the first way to do a video grid. Again, if you don't have time for this, I have created a template for you that you can download in the description below. Let's walk through that. Okay, so if you're at this part of the video, you've chosen to use the template. If you haven't already, make sure to download it in the description below. The video is split into nine parts. If you open up one sequence, you can actually go ahead and drag the video on top of here. Let me just show you a little demonstration. I'm just gonna drag my video files in this project. And I'll just put it in an assets folder. So I can just drag my video on top of this and then just rearrange it. And then pretty much you just apply that to every single one. Once you've added in all the videos, it will be done. You could try to render it out, but if it's big files, it might take a long time to render. But once you export it, it should look good. I hope you enjoyed the video today and that you found it helpful. If you did, please give this video a like and subscribe to the Yuan Pizzazz channel for more videos. Have a great day.